Recently, monitoring channels reported that the so-called Crimean Bridge illegally built by the Russian Federation is falling apart and requires repairs. A representative of the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Pletenchuk, suggested that if this is true, the structure could have been overloaded. The enemy cannot afford to use this facility to its full extent and the main logistics were based on the railway ferry crossing which is currently not working. Frankly speaking, the enemy has little choice but to additionally load this infamous bridge, Pletenchuk said on air at Espresso. He added that information about possible man-made damage to the bridge, which appeared simultaneously with data that the number of fuel trucks operating there in Crimea has increased, is currently being checked. Of course, this information about the fuel tankers will also be checked repeatedly. I cannot officially confirm it now, but in the form of conclusions we see that the enemy's fears were apparently not groundless. And I remind you that these fears were the result of direct fire impact on this facility during joint operations of the Ukrainian army and the navy. Therefore, we are monitoring the development of events. We hope that in the future they will continue to develop naturally, the speaker emphasized. He also said that the situation in the Azov Black Sea region has not changed as of now. In particular, there are no enemy ships on duty in the Azov Sea, while in the Black Sea there is a missile carrying submarine, which is most likely performing tasks to protect the enemy base in Novorossiysk. Pletenchuk added that the enemy has recently been using sea-based missiles of the caliber type during combined attacks on Ukraine in order to create mass and burden the Ukrainian air defense. According to the speaker, one of the eight missile carriers of the Russian Black Sea Fleet is under repair. Almost all combat units are currently stationed in Novorossiysk, while support vessels and units that were unable to leave the Ukrainian peninsula on their own or those that are under repair remain in Crimea. Let us recall that the Atesh Partisan movement reported the destruction of the structures of the Kirsch Bridge elements. As reported in the telegram of the movement, the Crimean Bridge requires urgent repairs since some structures have already begun to crumble. No one pays due attention to the bridge and as a result of the damage received, the structural elements of the bridge are degrading, which leads to the crumbling of its individual parts. The partisans also noted that the number of air defense systems in Crimea continues to decrease, which makes the bridge even more vulnerable. One of the reasons why US President Joe Biden does not provide full military aid to Ukraine is that he is afraid of the collapse of Russia, writes Ukrainian publication Zekalo Tizny with reference to sources. Within the limits of presidential arms transfer powers, Biden could have long ago provided Ukraine with the necessary weapons that would strategically improve the situation on the battlefield, but the White House consistently ignores this possibility, the publication notes. According to sources, Washington is guided by several military, technical and political motives. At the same time, it is noted that the risk of the war expanding to the territory of NATO countries or the nuclear threat are not the main ones. The following motives are indicated. Politicians and the US military fear that the excessive transfer of equipment and ammunition to Ukraine may deplete the Pentagon's reserves and the US may be unprepared for conflicts in other parts of the world, for example in the Indo-Pacific region or the Middle East. The political tradition of the USA assumes that decisions that could tie the hands of the future head of state are not made before the presidential elections. Washington still adheres to the 2022 strategy, according to which the war should continue only on the territory of Ukraine. The Biden administration is afraid of the possible collapse of Russia as a result of the victory of Ukraine. In particular, in Washington, they do not want to allow China to return the primitive territories annexed by the Russian Federation in the 20th century. The publication added that Biden adheres to a view of Russia formed back in the 1970s when the USSR was a strong adversary that the US tried not to irritate. Although the US is providing weapons to Kiev, military analysts point out that it is deliberately not giving the Ukrainian army a specific type of weapon. In addition, the ban on using army specific types of weapons. In addition, the ban on using American munitions against military bases on Russian territory is still in force. This is a ban that is illogical and that Kiev has long wanted to be lifted.